Okay, so you might be wondering what the use of the dot product is. Especially when we're in pre-calculus, we've just been introduced to vectors, things seem a little bit shaky at this point maybe, um, and we're wondering, I mean, what are we even doing? We're just multiplying, you know, components of two vectors together and we're getting some kind of mysterious scalar as, as an answer and it's like, well, you know, what's the use of this? Uh, so it's actually very geometrically significant. The dot product is very significant, especially when we're in two dimensions here. It's, it's easy to visualize, so consider taking two vectors, A and B, in Euclidean space. So say we're in R2 here, um, this is just x, y plane. We have two vectors, A and B, and they're just kind of arbitrary vectors. They could be any distance way, any, you know, kind of pointing in any angle array around each other, and um, as long as they're, you know, tail to tail here, just so we can see um, kind of the geometric significance here. Uh, and we want to find the angle theta between these two vectors. This is going to be very important for us when we get to calculus and later on in more advanced mathematics. It will really help us to know what the vector, uh, what the angle between these two vectors is. And previously we have no way of, of figuring that out except for taking a protractor and measuring, but that's, that's very um, kind of low tech way of doing this. We want to be able to know exactly down to the very, you know, very much more specific um, answer what the angle between these two things is, and it's much easier if we can just use this formula here. So this very essential formula that you need to know is theta is going to be equal to the inverse cosine, or arc cosine, you might know, of the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B all over the dot product of A times B. So the dot product is just going to be the components multiplied together, as you've seen in the pre-calculus uh, study guide, or a blueprint, excuse me, but if you haven't. So given two vectors A, uh, where A is equal to Say we have here A would just be equal to A1, A1, comma A2, but it can be any number of components as long as the, the number of components in A is equal to the number of components in the vector you're dotting it with because the, the dot product is only defined between vectors of the same number of elements. And say we have uh, vector B here is equal to some B1, B2. You could just think of this as X and Y or X1, Y1 or something like that. The dot, their dot product, A dot B, is going to be A1, B1, plus A2, B2. And you can apply this to any number of components as long as, again, the number of components are equal. So this is the definition of the dot product here. And so the, the dot product will be vastly helpful, will be very helpful for us when we're trying to find the angle between these two vectors, A and B. And the magnitude of A is just equal to the length of A. So you would be able to find the magnitude of A here by taking the square root of A1 squared plus A2 squared, just using the distance formula in Euclidean space. Um, and the same applies for B. And this will give us the angle between these two vectors. So it's very, it will be very helpful for us to know. And once we get onto the cross product, once you reach the cross product later on, there's also a way, a way to find the angle between two vectors using the cross product. But it's much more difficult and time consuming to find the cross product between two vectors than it is to find the dot product between the same two vectors. So this, this formula is, is very, very useful to remember because you don't want to be unnecessarily taking the cross product. We don't have to. So there's a couple of three, I would say, three you know, or so very important properties of the dot product that it's just going to be essential to remember that can help simplify things for us. And one of them is the commutative property, such that we have A dot B is going to be equal to B dot A. This is very important because uh, the result of the dot product, also known as a scalar product, is going to be a scalar or just some kind of number. When we take the cross product, it's going to be a vector. So it's very important for us to know here that taking a dot b is going to be equal to b dot a. Um, and this only applies for the dot product. The cross product is, in fact, anti-commutative, but I will get uh, in, in a different video that, I, that is explained. Uh, additionally, the dot product operator is distributive. So if you have a dot quantity b plus c, where b and c are two vectors here, this would just be equal to the same as kind of distributing the a over to each term inside of this parenthesis here. So it would be equal to a dot b plus a dot c. As you can see here, a dot b, a dot c. Uh, and that's a very kind of handy uh, use for the dot product, a handy property of the dot product there. And finally, we have the associative property, where given r, where r is some scalar, some real number here, we have r times quantity a dot b. That would be equal to r times quantity r times vector a dot b. Or you could also say it would be equal to um, here, a dot r times b. And you can switch the order on here because, once again, um, the dot product is commutative, so order doesn't really matter um, here. So those are some useful properties of a dot product, but I would say by far the most useful property of the dot product is going to be that it allows us to find the angle between two vectors in Euclidean space. Um, 
using this formula here, very important to remember, and uh, it's, it kind of helps give you some background as to why we're interested in the dot product at all, why it's not just kind of arbitrarily making an operation, taking, you know, multiplying components of vectors together, but in fact, it tells us a very useful geometric thing about two vectors in Euclidean space. To return to the vector menu, click here. To see more additional practice problems worked out, you can click here. So to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click this link here. To visit our website, click here. And finally, to return to the main menu, click this link here. And remember, if you haven't already done so, you can purchase the pre-calculus blueprint by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Remember, it's only $1.95. Thank you for watching.